I like this book. It has lots of pictures. It has lots of nouns. What kind of books do you like? Today, we are learning all about nouns. Nouns name everything we see. It also names ideas. So, that means that if a word is a person, place, animal, thing, or an idea, it is a noun. These are common nouns. Person, such as girl, teacher, policeman, or generic nouns like place, for example, park, store, school. Don't forget, animals are noun as well. Dog, panda, monkey. All things such as airplane, iPad, rainbow, including ideas. Who oh, no. knew? Honesty, courage, freedom. Let's go over proper versus common nouns. Well, what's the difference between both? Let's find out. So one way we can identify the difference between proper and common is that proper nouns or specific nouns are always capitalized. That means that common or general nouns are not capitalized, only if they start in the beginning of a sentence. Common Noun, girl or boy, proper noun would be their names because the specific name for the girl, which is Casey's specific name for boy, is Thomas. Here are more examples. Common noun, president, proper noun, the name of the president, Barack Obama. That is the proper noun. In this case, common noun is the state and the proper noun, which is the name of the state, is Florida. That's where I'm from. Where are you from? What state are you from? Common noun, store. Name of the store is the proper noun. In this case is Walmart, one of my favorite stores. What's your favorite store? That's the proper noun. <laughs> Common noun, movie. Proper noun, the name of the movie. What is it? You got it, Lego Movie 2. Mm, that's one of my favorite movies. What's your favorite movie? That would be the proper noun. What's, what is it? Let's review. Guess the emoji and if the noun is proper or common. Blink and blank went to the blank blank to get a pair of blank. Do you remember the names we used before? Let's use those names. Yes, it was Casey and Thomas. Let's go ahead and read it. Casey and Thomas went to the Walmart store to get a pair of pants. Name the proper nouns. Yep, Casey, Thomas, Walmart. Name the common nouns. That's correct, store and pants. Common or general nouns fall into three subcategories. Concrete nouns, abstract nouns, collective nouns. Concrete is anything you can see. Abstract, you cannot see like laughter. Collective is like a choir of children. I see you, Lulu. Concrete nouns are things that you can see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. Use all your five senses. Concrete nouns, here are some examples. Can you say them with me? Pants. Apple, baseball, cat, Dan, pizza. Let's see an example. For the boy, we use the proper noun Dan. Loves to eat blank and blank. Together, Dan loves to eat pizza and play baseball. What's the proper noun? It's Dan. Good job. And the common nouns? Pizza and baseball. Abstract nouns you cannot see, you cannot hear, 
you cannot taste, you cannot touch, and you cannot smell. You cannot use your five senses. Here are some examples of some abstract nouns. Cheers, happiness, love, luck, power, charity. Let's see an example. Blank gave to blank and fill her blank with blank and blank. Yes, we're using our abstract nouns. Casey gave to charity and fill her heart with love and happiness. Number three is collective nouns, group of things. Here are some examples. Family, herd, team. It is time for a sentence. The blank of blank belongs to the Norman blank. Did you get the collective nouns? Good job. The herd of sheep belong to the Norman family. What is the difference between singular versus plural nouns? Hmm. That's right, singular means one, single, girl or boy. And plural noun means plus, more girls and more boys. With plural, you either add an S or ES, singular box, plural boxes. It is time for a sentence, ready? The blank carry the blank to his blank. Did you find the singular and plural nouns? The boy carry the boxes to his house. Boy house, singular, boxes, plural. And the last categories of nouns, countable nouns versus uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that can be counted. Examples of countable nouns are children, class, crowd, we can count these. It is time for a sentence. The blank from that blank are always happy. That's correct. The children from that class are always happy. Collective nouns. Uncountable nouns or mass nouns, they cannot be counted. What do you mean uncountable nouns? Here are some examples. Milk, sand, sugar, liquid or grains cannot be counted. Is that for a sentence? Yes, it is. He likes his blank with blank and blank. Did you guess those uncountable nouns? Good job. He likes his coffee with milk and sugar. You did it. Great job. Bye for now. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Goodbye for now.